Kings try to try to get on a roll, get on a streak. Yeah, both of these matchups that we have, with Safa Jones going up against Drini and Joke against True. Remember, these are two EMB members going up against two top Madden members. We know that EMB crew, <laughs> which consists of Stevie J, Joke, Ghost, and Safa, all in different divisions. And then you got the top Madden crew who's got six competitors in the Ultimate League. These two crews make 10 out of the 16 competitors. And they're matching up against each other right now. That's always a rivalry game and will give you a little extra motivation. And for those that don't know, when I'm talking about crews, these are guys that get together, they practice with each other. It's an iron sharpens iron mentality. You share your secrets, you share your game plans with each other, kind of like an MMA gym. So what's the situation for Playbucks here as True takes on the defensive joke? You got True rocking the Eagles offensive playbook and Joke's gonna be rock rocking that Baltimore defense. So a big three-man front with that Ravens defense. They're set their audibles and we're just about ready to go between Echo Fox Joke and True of TopMadden.com. And that TopMadden.com for those six guys, that's where they put up all their tips and tricks and go over there and take a look in the mind of some of the best Madden players in the world. Ball at the 28 for True. See if he can get off to a good start here against Joe. And he'll go to Gurley, up the middle, and he'll get a few and roll to the 34. It's going to be a tough matchup for True just because Joke is so surgical in his approach. He, he's going to have the scouting report on True Boy. He's going to know exactly what True wants to do. And Joke is very good at preparing. If he knows what you want to do, he's very good at setting his lineup and setting his game plan to take that stuff away. So I expect Joke to have a whole bunch of players in the box and some stout run defense in this matchup. Make True beat him through the air. Motion across, Steve Young, the lefty. Can't get rid of it. That's just good defense. Didn't really see much open pressure coming around. Joke manually takes away the drag route. Look at Joke's user defender. See that crossing route go? And he's just guarding it himself. Here we go now. Good user stick work right there by Joke and True. I've seen him struggle in these situations before all season long. First third down of the game. Hands it off to Gurley. And Bo Jackson blocks Jabril Peppers right into Gurley. That's going to bring up a fourth and 12. Yeah, and it's a testament to, you know, Drew's struggling on third down. You got a, a third and 11 type situation, and you just kind of run the ball, hoping he can sneak a first down. So really Dan Bailey. The passing attack. Try to put a leg to it. Going to be returned by Warfield. So put it down as a 34-yard net punt. And Joke will start at the 40-yard line. What's Joke got going on offense? Got the West Coast offensive playbook, which is the most popular playbook so far. Sunday, this Sunday. legend division by far on offense. And True Boy, that New England Patriots hybrid type defense. Features in 3-3-5 odd. Only place on the playbook. You find that formation. A lot of people like it too. It's got that 3-4-4-3. Defensive playbook I run when I'm at home. And it's not because I'm a Patriots homer. I, I like the schemes. So second and 11 at the 39. Joke will go to the air. Wentz finds Henry out of the backfield. And that'll pick up three yards. It's going to be third and eight. Joke has a, and Joke's one of the few players he's played in different types of league type formats before at a high level. So this new format of, you know, a 10 game season and playoffs and all that, it's new to a lot of the competitors. But Joke, one of the few players that has experience like that. And that experience kind of rubbing off on Safa. You saw Safa with a slow start. Joke was able to go to him and he said, hey, it's a long season. I've seen guys that start 0-3 in leagues like this come back and make the playoffs at 6-4. and 4. you got to keep your head up. 
Safa took that advice to heart and turned it around ever since, but especially just an advantage for Joke having that experience. Right, especially with six out of the eight players making the playoffs. Wilson able to wrap him up. So that'll get True the ball at the 48. Stop right there for Drew. Punted the ball, then got his defense out on the field. Forces the turnover on downs after the fourth. And that actually moves him ahead. So first and 10 at the 48. They'll hand it off to Gurley and hello. And this is what I talked about. Joke is just so well prepared. He's going to have some sort of scum defensive tactic. It's going to make it really hard for True to run this ball. It's Ed Reed and Brian Dawkins out there. Well, you see, he's, it's, I like this scheme. He's got the linebackers out so wide, but then the D-line pinched in. Watch your back. And he's screaming on the pass. This is good defense out to 3-4 by Joke. He's taking away the inside run. He's got the linebacker spread out wide for that outside run to contain the edge. Good lurk on the pass play, sending pressure. Joke's done his homework with this 3-4 defense. It's a 62 overall, Bryce Hager from the Rams came in on the pressure. Wide oh, open is Ingram. <laughs> it's in. Gets in two. The 19. I'm not sure if he pressed coverage there. So he's pressed up, and Ingram just destroys him. Yeah. I, I think Joe meant to hot route him into a deep blue, but you saw on the previous play screen he was in a cover two look. It looked like that guy was just in a press flat. No safety help over the top. Joe's lucky that didn't go for a touchdown. Good read by True though. Yeah, Ingram is a speedster, but remember he's a tight end. Sometimes it's, it's easy to miss those wide open reads sometimes, especially when you are getting screamed at by the pressure. Jokes, Jokes needs to put that play behind him, have a short memory, go back and lock in. Nobody likes giving up third and longs, but hey, it's gonna happen. Second and 10 in the red zone. Ball at the 19 in a nothing, nothing game. 90 seconds left in the quarter. Motion. Young. Steve Young will drop it off to Ingram, but Ed Reed is right there. That's a battle going on right now. True on this third and 11. He needs to just be careful, protect this ball, be willing to take three. You, 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 you can go for a money, play, a money pass play, but you, you got to be willing to throw it away if need be. Double tight end. Jokes in that corner blitz from the left. Going to make Steve Young roll to his right. Find Shannon Sharp. Oh, Couldn't oh, make a miss. Though. Amos with a big time tackle. That'll bring him a fourth and five. And hey, back out, back out, back out. Oh, my God. Yeah, true. You got to get the boot out. Kick is up and it's good. He'll take an early 3 0 lead over Joke. With 41 seconds left here in the first. True representing top Madden. Joke sponsored by Echo Fox, repping his EMB crew. Both those crews combined, like I said, make up 10 out of the 16 players in Ultimate League. So that's a big deal. If you're getting into, and you don't gotta be a part of some elite crew. If you're getting into competitive Madden, you just gotta find some friends or some buddies that share the same passion that you can get in an Xbox party with. Start to practice, work on things, share information with it, will propel your game to that next level. Could just be as simple as a roster move of, hey, have you tried Sam Shields? I know he's a bronze, but he's a beast. And that could change your whole defensive scheme. Yeah, and then you learn to take it a step further. You start developing friends that they're, they're, you know, in the loop with the different metas and the different defenses that are out there. So, you know, you can hit up your friend. Hey, can you run that loop blitz against me all game? I want to get some looks at it, work, work on some different things. Hey, can you can you show me some cover two looks? Let me get my money plays down. It's such prep, the practice and preparation and the way you go about it is such an important aspect of being able to play this game at a high level. Able to get your buddy basically be the scout team. You work against them. 
It'll be a first and 10 out at the 48, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. As Joke trailing by three at the end of one. Take a look at the scores. Shrewboy with a field goal, and also Musafa able to get three on Draney. And that's where we are at the end of the first quarter. Start of the second quarter. Let's take a look here at Drini and Musafa Jones in a 3 nothing game. You never know. I mean, Drini in this season, you, you sort of don't know what you're going to get. This is a belt winner. Guy that's played on the biggest of stages. Struggled early. He sort of wrote the ship a little bit. But he's got a lock up here on defense at the 40-yard line. Second and 11 for Safa. Safa, here he goes in this West Coast scum bunch, the scummy bunch. That's what I call that West Coast gun bunch. And he's going, going up top. The it's grand there. touchdown, Safa. And there he goes. You know he's going to get out of his seat after he makes a big play. And I'm telling you, I don't see anybody so far this season playing with as much passion and intensity as Musafa Jones, Jamal Daniels from Atlanta, Georgia. Ten to nothing. And he's 22 years old, and this is a young man for years. I, I remember I've said the story. I first met him at an underground tournament three years ago. He's trying to get his name out there. Never won the big one. Was probably not getting back what he was putting in for competitive Madden. Stuck with it, and then here he is three years later, made the, the final four of the club championship, and here he is in Ultimate League. So 10 to nothing there. Let's go back to Joke and True. He's going to have the ball first and 10 at the 46. And this is why True saying he needs to get the offense going. If he can dot, like you said, go down, get a touchdown, go up two possessions against Joke. This would be a big win for True Boy. Season he finds himself at two and three. You no know, guy like True, he's not comfortable having a losing record. Check 26, check 26. Second and six ball right at midfield on that ultimate league logo. Needs to get to the 44 yard line. I like how they do the custom field like that, huh? That, that ultimate league field exclusive. Only these 16 players get to play on that field. Gurley, not much there. So that's going to bring up a third and four. Big third down, true. Saw him talking to himself, said, I got to get some offense going in this league. Right, now, look at the third down conversion rate he has going on. In my memory, it hasn't been too great. Young. As Bo Jackson runs over one. Works his way into plus territory at the 38-yard line. So that's going to bring up a first and 10 for True. And he's been able to move the ball freely between the 25s. It's when he starts to approach that red zone that he starts to stall out. See him. Saw him use Mike Vick earlier in the season. He's back to Steve Young. <laughs> There's Sharp. Can't get away. Maybe a yard. Let's get a game update. Guys, Drini working himself back into this ball game. Down 10 0 from the 26. Throws himself a touchdown pass up the left side. 10 7. Musafa's up with three and a half minutes left in the first. Boy, did Drini need that one. Crawling back in and against Musafa. Second and nine back over here. Ball at the 32, third and four. And we've talked about it many times. This is where he struggles. This is where Chaos has struggled. Yeah. This is the difference between the good Madden players and the great ones. You can finish 
off the drive. Yeah, especially in this year's game, points are hard to come by. If you can consistently get your offense down the field, get touchdowns instead of field goals, you're really going to be able to separate yourself, like you said, from the rest of the pack. Here's the two-minute warning, third and four. Good piece. Swings it outside to Sharp. First down up at the 25. And these Madden games can change quick, right, guys? You're absolutely right. You heard Jimmy screaming a minute ago. That's why. That's a pick six all the way back to the house. Up 14-10 now. Just over three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. 14 unanswered for Draney. Steve Young here takes a sack on first down. If you're Safa Jones over there in that Draney game, you can't, when you got your opponent struggling on offense, and the, you know, they don't have a high passing attack, the last thing you can do is give them points on defense. Crucial mistake right there for Bo Safa Jones. Jackson right up the seam to the 11. So here it is again. <laughs> Good read, Joke gets caught on his D tackle. Got to assume he was supposed to be lurking over that middle of the field. True recognizes it. Let's it rip possession, catch good read. And sometimes that's what you need to do. These guys are so good controlling their linebackers. You just got to quick hike them and hope you catch them out of position before their defense is set up, opens up reads like that. Steve Young, seven of eight for True. Now work this clock late in the second quarter. Ooh, ooh, going out. Scramble. High crash. Got to be careful. Gets down at the nine. Let's double box this with 50 seconds left in our game and a second and eight. And over there with Musafa, Drini once again is back down in the red zone after another interception. <coughs> Looking to make it 21 unanswered. Goes Drini with the sneak. Made the hit over there on the left side. We got True on the right trying to extend his lead. Roaming around. <laughs> See if Shark can break a tackle, and he can't. That'll bring up a third down. So first and ten on the left, third and five on the right. If you're True on your on the right, you, you really just want this to be a touchdown. You, you don't want to stall out here in the red zone again. Especially against a player like Echo Fox Joke, you got to think he's going to put some offensive drives together eventually. This is a big down right now for True Boy, and I, if I'm him, I'm even considering going for it on fourth down if need be. <coughs> so 43 seconds left between Joke and True on the right side of your screen. Ball to six yard line. Hands it off to Gurley. Spins back to the oh. inside and Joke stands tall. Now it's a decision time for True. Got to take the trifecta here. I think he's going to take the points. I'm telling you, I'm really thinking about going for it in this type of situation. On the left, you see Trini handing off to Herschel Walker. He's got a third down. So True's going to make it a six point game. Just kill that clock, leave Joke as little time as possible. And it's smart. And that's into the net. Six to nothing. Over here with Dream. Oh, He's man. got a wide open tie. And he can't get the toes in bounds. Oh, that would have been a big play for young Dreamy. That touchdown puts him up 11, instead has to kick the field goal. Now only up a touchdown. Safa, very fortunate. And Will Ty not able to get his feet down. But hey, it's Will Ty. That's a budget type player. It's not going to make every play for you. Should be expected. So 144 left for Safa, who's given up 17 unanswered in the way of two interceptions. This route combination. Oh my goodness. Ty just gets wide open. Threw it late. No toe drag swag and Trini. It was that close. Oh. <laughs> Milliseconds earlier, and the animation might have gave him six. Do what young Bandana Trini could do here on defense before the end of the second quarter. Safa's got one timeout, 1.41 to go. Pitches it to the outside. 
and no one picked up Shields. If you're south of Jones, if you could go down here in this second quarter with a minute 30 left, get yourself a touchdown, tie this ball game after throwing the two interceptions, you're gonna have to be feeling pretty good about yourself. It's a good read. There is Sean Jackson. See the nervousness starting to set in for Drini. But you can see him near the bottom of his division. I almost want to start calling him the Karate Kid. Danielson. Doesn't it remind you of Danielson a little bit? Get him an old Buick, top down. Get out there, paint some fences, put some wax. Maybe take the wax off. Sweep the leg, Drini. See over Division B, Safa has really turned his season around. He got beat by True in the opening week, 37 to seven. The biggest win thus far here in the Ultimate League and bounced back. I, I, I gotta ask real quick, if Drini's Daniel's son, does that make problem Miyagi? I can see it. I'm thinking probs Miyagi. I, I won't fight you. But who's part of the Cobra Cobra Kai? The enemy. Is joke. that is that EMB? Is joke the the guy? <laughs> the guy. Put him in a body bag. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Right. Enough of the karate kid. This is big right here. Eighty percent of our audience has no idea what we're talking about. Second and eleven. That's what's crazy is I talk to some of these younger guys like they don't know about the sandlot and like angels in the outfield. They're like, what's the mighty ducks? And I, I'm just mind blown when I hear that type of stuff. So you know you're getting old. Pulls it in at the two. Safa trying to tie it up. Clock on the move. Oh, almost. Got to kick the three. I know you don't want to, but you got it. Yeah, he's thinking about it. I think you're right, Scott. If anyone has the gall, he's the guy. Sure, some people want it, some people need it. I think you need to take three right here, Safa. 17 to 13 with one tick left in the half. A little pooch kick right here. Don't give Drini a chance to return the ball, either a squib kick or a pooch kick. You see, Safa keep looking back over his left. He went to the squib. You see, you press the Y button when you're kicking the ball off. It's going to activate this squib type of kick right there. And you got to wrap up. And that'll end the half. 17 to 13. It was 10 to nothing. And Drini scored 17 unanswered to make your halftime score 17 to 13. And then between joke and true, 6 to nothing. I think that one's in the bottom of the third. Joke will come up to bat next. Start of the third quarter between Drini and Musafa Jones in a 17-13 battle here in a cross-divisional matchup here in the Legend Conference. Drini battling back. Trail 10 to nothing. Two interceptions that led to 17 unanswered. Now Safa's gonna get the ball first and start the second half. And you talked about Safa's slow start to the season. How you want to talk about turning it around? If he was to come back and win this game against Drini, he would have the longest active winning streak in all of Ultimate League at four wins. So if you want to talk about turning the season around and not giving up, let's talk about Musafa Jones. And part of that is like we talked when Joe gives him that pep talk of, hey, I've been in this season type play before. You are not out of it. Continue to fight, and I think Safa Jones took that advice to heart. He's got his hands full right now in a, the phenom, the young phenom, young Drini, former Madden Challenge belt winner, the youngest belt winner in MCS history. Now doing this all in his rookie season. That's a needle! And Harrison can't hang on. It was a tight window, and that's gonna bring up third down. Look at this, almost no room. 
Big swat right there from Renfro. There's Jackson. He can't hang on either. Now you got a fourth down at your own 20. Something subtle right there. Did you see Drini click onto that defender and move him into position to guard that C route? Very good stick work right there from Drini. The hardcore game is they'll be paying attention to that type of stuff. You always got to appreciate fast reflexes like that. Fourth and 15. Oh no! He's in no man's land. And he's going to turn the ball over on downs at his own 25. Oh, young Drini playing good defense off of Jones with a three game win streak on the line. But Drini has really showed up on defense, forcing turnovers, forcing them. Turnover on downs on fourth down right there. Greeny might have to answer for the scum bunch in there. This time. This time. Doesn't have to worry about dragging the toes. Wide open for six. And Trini on a 24 to 3 scoring run. If you saw Trini, it looked like he just changed the song on his playlist right before that touchdown. It must have been time to put the turn up song on. Rocky Ford soundtrack clearly. Hearts on fire, burning desire. What? That soundtrack is fuego. <laughs> More references that 80% of our audience has never heard of. Honestly, look at this touchdown right here. I need this play. The corner route. It's getting wide open behind the zone. If you've got that play at topmadden.com, sign me up. I train Lane couldn't get over there. Had to respect the post pattern. And then there's the play action on first down. Got to get back in it. Andrini's play with playlist. He's got Betty Watt, Lupe, Fia uh, Lupe Fiasco. I like a little Lupe Fiasco. A little old school, a little new school. Sets his feet, rolls to the right, and will just throw it away. If you saw the Jones, the other thing that's not good right now. Is Drini is locking up this defense. So now you got your offense on tape being completely put in a bag. And competitors can go back and reference this. Third and ten. Mariota throws it into coverage once again and Rimfro. Will pause at the 29 and oh my Safa. Danielson just hit Safa with the crane kick right there. Let's go double box here. As Joke has pushed his way down to the 12 yard line. So both games in a scoring scenario. 24 13 on the left. Joke trailing by six over here on the right. Gets out of the pocket. Awkward. That's going to count as a sack by Joey Bosa. Going to bring up a third and ten over here on the right side. Yeah, I'm looking at the right side of the screen right now, Scott. This is big for Joke on third down. And Drini gets loose on the left. There goes Joe. Oh, he throws a book. And True's on his horse. And True might take this back. 31 to 13 on the left. That one's over. Forget about it. Forget about it. And over here on the right, there might not be a lot of scoring, but the defense is on fleek. This is a big possession for True. He needs to get himself into field goal range here. Be able to get some points, make a two possession, kill the clock. This is big. Joke needs to step up on defense. And how about True? Playing some serious defense so far. Keep an Echo Fox joke to zero points. That's not easy to do. So True was back against the wall. Starting to turn into something special if he could pull this game out. Second and three, Gurley. Push that out to the 40. Even a field goal on this drive is going to put Joke in a hurt. Yeah, if you're Joke, you need to get stinge mode right here. <laughs> Last thing you want is true going up. Go on, go 
two possessions with the type of offense he has deep in to this third quarter going into the fourth. Stevie Young. Ah, true. Can't get away from the pressure. Stanford with the second sack of the game. I think if you're true, you need to stay true to the run here on first down. Drops back and Joke sends the gas. Yeah, see, true. That was Jonathan Ogman, the legend left tackle that got absolutely whipped. He probably does, does it the full legend? Oh, yeah. No, no, I'll take that back. It's the 86. You gotta, you gotta, I didn't want to put him on blast. I didn't want to put but him on blast. It might fool you sometimes. 86 overall. But still. In an ultimate team, I guess, but for those that don't know, you, you can have multiple versions of the volume. So there's an 86 Ogden, but you know there's a 94 overall Ogden somewhere around out there, and that's the one that'll, that'll really protect you. So the end of the third between those two in the six-point game and back here between Drini and Safa. Safa on a drive, trying to fight. Ball at the 11, trailing by 18 after he led by 10. A 28-point swing in this one. And here comes the off tackle. You think we watch a lot of Madden? <laughs> <laughs> When you don't even see the play art, you're like, and here comes the off tackle. Yeah, yeah, you know, Second and nine. Know what time it is. So if I know it, I can guarantee you, Drini knows it. Well, it, when you see someone under center, you, you immediately got to be thinking either stretch, dive, put that strong close, that off tackle. Second and nine, he might put it to the air here. Motions Jackson. Watch for the wheel route. There it is, he's got to throw it. Good play. It's going to depend on the spot at the two yard line, and it's going to be a third in inches. Safa continuing the fight. Can I give a production note here? I've been asking for that scoreboard to be up there for four years, and these guys here in Los Angeles did it in a day, so kudos. Third in inches. It's good to pay homage to the truck. Yeah, man, these guys are working. And hands it off to Herschel. And he picks up the first down. Remember, it's frustrating. You get to see these cool animations, but you don't know where the ball is and how much time. <laughs> Forget about that now. You got it. Good call. For Safi, he wanted to get into the end zone on that last one. Every second he's missing out on right now is just hurting him. He's, this was precious time. He'll put it at the six-inch line. He's down 18 points. You, you really need to... Trying to get in before the end of the third. Taking way too Motion. long. Motion. Oh my no, gosh. sir. I mean he's not having it. Loses two. And that's how the end of the third will come to a close for Safa. He's frustrated. So that's the end of three. It's 31 to 13. What do they call that? A Pellelelogram or something like that, forward and backwards. I don't know. I'm making up words now. And a six-point game at the bottom with True just locking up Joke. Start of the fourth quarter between Joke and True in a six-point ball game. True's been saying, man, I got to get my offense going. Well, Joke feels about the same. Yeah. <laughs> you got a Joke donut up there. Joke points is not something I, I expected to see. True's got to be playing lights out on the defensive side of the ball. And well, he's turned the ball over a few <laughs> times, too, for Joke. Check 24, check 24. Hoodie Joke. But you know, it's only a six-point game, so in the blink of an eye, it could be one pick six here, and then you'll find yourself trailing. Second and 16, here to start the quarter. Ball at the 34. <laughs> Couldn't spin away. That's going to bring up a third and 17. He had all kind of space if he could have got away. True, just, he just can't get his offense to step up when he needs it to. 
This is the biggest drive for him so far. You want to make it two possessions, but stalling out so far finds himself in the big third and 17. Watch Ingram on your left side of your screen. He's been the go-to guy. Oh, joke screen. Throws it quick. And Bo Jackson, that's not a low throw. That's not a high throw. That's right on the numbers. How about true, finally. You want to talk about me stepping up? Let's talk about third and 17. Slang it, possession catch right in front of the defender. And Choke is not happy. Well, you, you gotta click on and make a play. You can't you can't hope those Avengers jump in front of that route. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, and but the one of the things that's hard is when you get that possession catch where you're falling back and he seals you off. They had great position with that big Bo Jackson. But I guess the point is you click on and, you know, maybe you don't get the interception, but you just want to kind of touch the guy, cause some sort of traffic, hurt his catch chance a little bit. Second and nine now. This is big for Joke. He needs to play defense right here. Quick drop. Underneath, there's it's Ingram. His favorite cool. target. I think that's going to be a first down. That's mighty close. First and ten. Let's stop for a game break. Well, guys, you saw Musafa get stuffed at the end of the third quarter, finally able to get into the end zone. He moved down the field like a race car, which is a palindrome, spelled the same way frontwards and backwards. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. <laughs> Partial credit, maybe? I don't know. Six-point game. You know, True Boy, even though his, his offense has been anemic, he's only turned the ball over two times this season. That's the lowest in the entire Ultimate League. Yeah, well, he just runs the ball so often, but that's a good stat, though. If you can protect the quarterback, stick to your game plan. But remember, right now, he doesn't have a great kicker, Scott. He, he needs going to need a few more yards. He needs to get about to the 30. Make for Dan Bailey, touchdown. but how about a touchdown? Dang, oh, that's a touchdown for True. Paul Richardson with the dagger. And look at him, he lights up the scoreboard finally, and he doesn't even look happy about it. He's still focused. That was a big play by True. Joe trying to hang around. You get him with the deep bomb, go up two possessions, 247 in the fourth. Trying to make it 14 here with the two-point conversion. Motion. Watch for Bo Jackson here. What a big play. And he throws a pick. Uh-oh. And this might go. Steve Young doesn't have Mike Vick skills. And we'll see you. I'll send you a postcard when I get to the end zone. This is worth two. Ronnie Lott, my friend. Maybe you've heard of him. A 49er legend to a 49er legend. But it's two the other way. Yeah, right? Like you said, only an ultimate team. You throw Steve, Steve Young throws an interception to Ronnie Lott. Fortunate for True Boy. <laughs> Keeps it a two possession ball game, even with that mistake. Look at this replay again. This throw to Paul Richardson. Oh my goodness. Dimes. Look, look at the reaction. No big deal. And then here on the two point conversion, snags it, takes it to the crib 0 for two. Ronnie Lott on a three receiver hook. It's nothing to play with. So now. Joke, able to hit a two-run homer here late in the game. Needs 10. All three timeouts. Still in this ball game. Wentz. Going to scramble. Gets out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 2.16. Yeah. Even if you get down here and get a three, he does have three timeouts still left. Yeah, that's the key is keeping those timeouts so if you get stalled out, in true territory, assuming you can get there. Like you said, you can take your points, try to kick it off and play defense. Wentz gets picked up. Good blitz pickup. And there is Jones and Julio. I don't think he got the first down. I think this is going to be second and short. I could be wrong. Two-minute two warning. Two-minute warning. They will give him the first down, the forward progress on the spin. But it looked like he might have made some runner moves after the initial contact. But they're going to give him the first down. Mark it at the 35, two-minute warning. 
Ten point game. Tie. Picks up four. That'll stop the clock. 155. And Joke's ability to get out of bounds a couple times on this drive, saving them some critical time on that clock. Down two possessions. Every second's going to count. Carson. The pocket presence. Fantastic pocket presence. Uh oh, got to avoid the hit. It's on the ground. That picked up by True. <laughs> Use a strip fumble by True, and that was a big play. That was Flowers, team of the week, able to pick that one up. The pocket presence was phenomenal, but he buckled on the scramble. No, 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 no. And, and credit to Larry Wilson for stripping that out of there. And that was True Boy that did that with Larry Wilson. He used to control them. Press that RB button, which will trigger a strip ball animation, rips it out from the quarterback. And if you want to make those quarterbacks fumble when they're scrambling, that's the best way to do it. You either go for that strip or the big hit. It's going to significantly increase their fumble chance, and True has been making plays this game. I have a real talk with you right now. Oh, no. Would you rather have two points or zero? Party, party. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I I, I'm, I'm serious though. How <laughs> awkward does two look though? You scored real two. I thought you were about to go deep one to that for a second. It's not too deep. You take take your points. No one wants a donut. Let's <laughs> talking real donuts. Uh, of course, the Cleveland Browns would love to have a victory. So I guess as long as you got one one more than zero, it's good. That was a huge play by True Boy. And Seen him have some trouble making big plays in key moments. So far in this fourth quarter, he's made some huge ones with that deep bomb. Make it two possessions, the strip fumble. But just back up against the wall at two and three. Finds a way to fight against one of the better players on the circuit against Echo Fox Joke. He's going to go for it here, fourth and seven, so. All right, now look at 56. Joke can come up a with a play here, even a pick six. Puts Joke away. This is for, this is to officially end the game. This could be daggerish. One thirty-three to go. Shotgun formation. Hot routes for days. Young. That's going to be a sack. Joke's going to take over at the 46. He's got 129, no timeouts. Going to need a touchdown or a field goal and then an onside kick. Yeah, that's the problem for Joker. It's the only way for him to win this game is he is now reliant on that onside kick. The chances of getting that and not Comes good. a loop. Throws it away. A loop-de-loop -loop blitz. See that linebacker cross. Very popular defense and competitive Madden yet. Send one of those linebackers on the cross. There he goes at that awkward angle. User control the other linebacker. Work around the middle of the field. Joe picks up the first down at the 42. Mentioned Dan Bailey is his kicker. So you need about 10 more yards. Could be a world here where Joe gets in the field goal range and then immediately just kicks the field goal to set up the onside kick. Get waiting around. I want to see if he can get back in this game or not. Ram, ram, ram. That would be my vote. If you can get four yards here, kick the three and then roll your dice. That's field goal range right there. I kick it. Yep, here he goes. So this will make it five. <laughs> They get a touchdown game. It's up and it is good. Now it's time for Madden Magic. We like need an onside kick. Seen some things not go through his way. This would be devastating if he wasn't to recover this onside. There he goes. <laughs> Coming into this game. That's the dagger. Joke was leading all scores. 26.2. True has held him to five. Five. It's impressive by True Boy. I mean, we always knew True could play good defense. We know he could run the ball. 
just a matter of him getting that passing attack going when he needs to. And, you know, we saw him convert some third downs. We saw the big play. Here's his running game on display. True might be trying to score. Nope. Yeah, play it safe. One possession ball game. Don't even mess around. How you, how you not taking, well, he might be going for point play. for the point differential. I mean, he said he's two and three. They got to stay in bounds. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you're thinking that far ahead because you talk about point differential and end up finding out that you're holding the L. Yeah, this is got to be careful. risky. Very questionable uh, tactics right now by True Boy. That's got to be it. Now, if you run it all the way down and you kick the field goal here, then kudos. Yeah, but the field goal is the scariest <laughs> part. That thing gets blocked. It's going to go the other way for six. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I, I take everything back. Just, just let it be true. Don't risk this. And that'll do it. 12 to 5. Score no one had in this one. But True gets the victory over Joke who was at the top of Division A. True comes over from Division B and gets the win. 12 to five, and then Drini. I mentioned he was down 10 to nothing, and then had an offensive explosion, had a couple interceptions in there as well, and wins 37 to 23. Adrian Lawrence is standing by with True. Yes, True, you got the win over Joke, 5-12. to 12. How do you feel? Uh, Not good. I mean, I guess I play good D. I've been playing good D every game. I feel like uh, I've prepared for that EMD bunch really well. I don't think anyone's scored a touchdown on me the whole tournament running that bunch. So uh, I feel good right now, but i got to be better on off. And right now you're 3-3. Three and three. How do you, What's your outlook for the rest of the season? Uh, just get on a run. I got to get on a run, and today uh, or next week, I got to, you know, make something happen. And what's your motivation in terms of this tournament? Do you want the belt, the title, the money? Uh, I want it all, obviously. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, good competitors, so I uh, wish them nothing but the best. All right. Best of luck to the rest of the season. To you, Dave Enrico.